Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, good uh, evening, Doc. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Uh, how is that? This is the first class, right? <laughs> for the PhD program. Uh, the first, I would say, meeting for this term, okay? So welcome to IE398. Uh, this is the seminar class for the PhD program. And every week, uh, in this class, you know, there are many <laughs> top researchers who will be invited, okay, uh, in, this, uh, in this program, uh, sorry, in this uh, class, okay. So for this week, uh, I have, uh, you know, an old friend, I would say that uh, it's actually my, we were classmates, right? Yeah, we were classmates before uh, when I was in PhD, okay. So actually, I'm not that old. <laughs> okay, so let's welcome Sir Tommy. Can you turn on your camera? Hello, Sir Tommy. Hi, I need to introduce to you to everybody. Okay, can you turn on the camera? But don't be okay. Wow, that's you're so different with the picture. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, sorry, it's a joke. Okay, it's a joke. <laughs> anyway, uh, how are you, Sir Tommy? Is you're nice, good? Nice, good. Yeah, good everything is good. There, everything is good there. Okay, everyone. Yeah. So I have to introduce uh, the speaker for today. Okay. So he's actually my <laughs> classmate. Okay. Uh, his name is Tommy Sugiarto. Tommy Sugiarto received his Bachelor of Science degree in Instrumentation Physics from the Department of Physics, uh, University of Indonesia in 2015. He got his uh, MS degree in biomedical engineering from the National Taiwan University of Science and Technology in 2018. And is currently still pursuing his PhD in the Graduate Institute of Applied Science and Technology uh, at the same university. Uh, I think you will graduate soon, right, Tommy? Uh, this year, so. right? Yeah, I think a few more I months, so. hopefully. <laughs> currently, he is also working as an associate engineer at the Industrial Technology Research Institute in Taiwan. Previously, he worked with uh, <laughs> the Indonesian National Institute of Aer uh, Aeronautics and Space as the research assistant from 2015 to 2016. In 2018, he was a visiting researcher at University of Applied Sciences in Krefeld, Germany. Uh, his research interests <coughs> include artificial intelligence in biomedical applications, <laughs> gate analysis, human motion analysis, and wearable sensors. Some of the projects he worked on were <coughs> chronic chronic obstructive pulmonary disease diagnose, diagnosis with EEG and artificial intelligence, low latency virtual reality with EMG-based head tracking prediction, and gait and human motion analysis with wearable devices. He is also a member of the Indonesian Data Scientists Association. So let's welcome uh, Sir Tommy. Let's start your presentation. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Professor Yogi, uh, to invite me for this speech. Uh, so uh, tonight I will share uh, uh, just uh, a brief uh, introduction to my research, a uh, part of my research in uh, gait and human movement analysis, <clears throat> especially uh, with wearable device. So, uh, okay, let's start the, the presentation. So my name is Tommy. I'm from uh, Indonesia, but uh, I work in and study in Taiwan. <clears throat> okay, so so uh, I think uh, 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 Professor Yogi already uh, explained uh, uh, about me. Uh, uh, I I I got my I got my uh, Bachelor of Science from uh, University of Indonesia from the Department of Physics in 2015, and then uh, uh, I got my uh, Master of Science <coughs> from. Uh, Biomedical Engineering of uh, NTUST, the same alma mater with uh, Professor Yogi, and now uh, I'm on the final year of my uh, PhD uh, study from the Institute of Applied Science and Technology. Uh, I was a research assistant uh, from 2015 and 2016 in the Indonesian Institute of Aeronautics and Space, and then in 2018, after I finished my uh, master's degree, I got to uh, 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 to Germany as a visiting researcher in the University of Applied Science in the Krefeld. Then uh, since 2018 until now, I I working as a associate engineer at the Industrial Technology uh, Research Institute. <clears throat> and uh, here are some uh, you need to uh, know a little bit about my uh, research output and experience. So um, my study 
uh, area, my expertise is on the biomechanics and the human motion analysis, uh, and also wearable device. And uh, uh, and also I, I, I do, I did a lot of project related to the artificial intelligence that uh, combined with the biomedical application, including uh, like uh, already uh, explained by, uh, already mentioned by the Professor Yogi is uh, some uh, diagnosis with the uh, EEG, electroencephalography or uh, EMG with the virtual reality and uh, some uh, object detection and human post estimation. And then uh, uh, basically something uh, related from artificial intelligence to uh, biomechanics or the biomedical engineering. I also uh, become a reviewer for some uh, some scientific journal like IEEE Access, Applied Science, or uh, Proceeding of the Institutional Mechanical Engineering uh, from the Journal of Engineering in Medicine. So if you submit from this journal, there is an opportunity that your manuscript will be reviewed by me, maybe. <clears throat> so uh, I'll just start my presentation. <clears throat> so uh, this is uh, some uh, introduction uh, about the past and the present of a gate and human movement analysis. So uh, I think uh, Professor Yogi already mentioned that you already have some uh, uh, a brief class, a brief uh, course. Oh, they are expert. They are expert. <laughs> brief, 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 uh, brief, brief uh, explanation yeah. like about gate, right? Something like that. So yeah, what? So let's let's I, let's ask. Let's ask them how far they know so, about what is gate analysis. I, I mean, just just a basic uh, gate analysis, like uh, what is gate, something like that. So so yeah, so it's basically continuity of that. Uh, program that, that course that so uh, so we know that the gate and balance the uh, that gate and balance problem it can, can be caused by uh, some of kind of injury or disorder like a stroke Alzheimer Parkinson's disease or multiple sclerosis and in this area the the role of a physical therapist is to help that people to to uh, with that that's people with movement disorder to to help them to reduce the pain or increase the range of motion and improving the balance by doing some intervention. Uh, however, their uh, physical therapist's uh, works is uh, sometimes subjective uh, evaluation. So, so their evaluation is is not really quantified by by some uh, metrics or, or or index. Then, uh, in order to do that, uh, people like uh, engineer like 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 us, they help with. Uh, using the the motion capture system, like we like we can see on the on the right side, that's the 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 the, the 3D 3D motion capture system that can uh, record your motion in in 3D and then calculate the kinetics and kinematics of the subject. Uh, so this is the the golden standard of the of the motion motion analysis, human motion analysis. Uh, but uh, as we know that this this device, this equipment is, is the very uh, expensive, bulky, and heavy. And then most important is they are not uh, portable. So if you have some patient that on hospital, you cannot just bring your, your equipment to there and then install the device and then doing the analysis. You need to put this, this, uh, this uh, equipment on the, uh, sorry, I can leave there. You need to you need to uh, use this you need to use this equipment on your lab, and they, they need to install and uh, keep it there. You cannot uh, make it portable. <clears throat> so uh, this this measurement basically help the PT the physical therapist to quantify their intervention result, and so so they have like uh, how they know that the intervention is uh, have a significant uh, effect on the sub on, on their patient or not. Then this is the role of the engineer. Uh, so. Uh, because of this, uh, this, uh, uh, this advantage of the 3D motion analysis, 3D motion uh, capture, then we start to find another solution like using the wearable device, for example, like accelerometer, IMU, or a sensor that you got from your smartphone, or even uh, some uh, sensors uh, like EMG, electromyography that can monitor your uh, muscle activity. And this uh, wearable device combined with the uh, recent machine learning, deep learning, or AI method, they can do uh, the same thing as the as the motion capture system uh, do. For example, like you can you can do the early detection of the change of the gate pattern or 
do the gate event detection, uh, gate analysis, <coughs> or even in uh, some uh, uh, more advanced application, you can you can do the physical activity classification or fault detection or or even do the energy expenditure uh, calculation. So here's a, a, a gate analysis. So uh, it's a study of human motion that using instrument to measure the body movement, body mechanics, and activity of the muscles. <coughs> And uh, this is uh, to quantify and interpret uh, of the measurable gate parameters. And the golden standard is using the 3D motion capture system with the MG and force platform. So I think you already familiar with this uh, graph. This is the gate cycle, gate cycle of a human. So uh, 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 this is, uh, you can see on the right side, this is the, the example of a subject uh, when they are uh, doing the 3D motion capture. So you can see here some of the, a reflective marker here, put on the bon uh, on the body landmark, and then this uh, this uh, uh, marker will be catched by the 3D camera, uh, 3D infrared camera. Then then uh, you can get the the, the 3D uh, orientation and position of the of the subject when they are doing a motion. And <clears throat> uh, we can see here that there is also in, in some in some uh, place we put the EMG sensors and also force plate. Uh, to to get more data of the force and the muscle activity, and then uh, when 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 after you do the gate analysis, uh, after you you do the movement uh, with the with the motion capture, then uh, this is the I think this is the standard uh, even definition for the for the gate cycle. So we start with the initial contact. Initial contact is where your heel touch the the the. First, touch the, the ground, and usually this is uh, how you get this. Is usually you use the force plate, then you get some threshold for how many newton. Then you get the this is the initial contact. Then uh, how we define a, a, a gate cycle is <coughs> uh, from usually from hill strike to another hill strike. So this is the 100 percent of the gate cycle, and this is con uh, this is consists of the double support single support and uh, two double support and one single support and uh, one uh, is, is come from the uh, one step one right step and one left step and uh, between the right initial con right right hill strike to the next extra hill strike is the is the one full uh, cycle so usually if the if the biomechanics or if the if the the people who do uh, motion capture system then uh, the, st the standard way to report your your uh, gate parameter is uh, from a heel strike to another heel strike. <clears throat> then uh, I have some some video to to better illustrate uh, how we do our experiment in here. So is this your experiment? if you have a sir Tommy, is this your experiment? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The the EMG is in rectus femoris. Is that correct? Uh, not only not only that memories we also have in the uh, bicep femoris, uh, sorry, right femoris, yeah, fastus and fastus, and, and, yeah, yeah, fastus, fastus and rectus. Yeah. Yeah. We basically we have uh, more than uh, like eight muscles on the left mm -hmm. uh, of the foot, each each foot, mm -hmm, so total mm -hmm. sixteen muscles mm -hmm. from the uh, uh, quadriceps, hamstring, also from the. Mm -hmm. uh, and what about uh, what about that one, uh, Sir Tommy? What on the how is it that on the bottom? I think you put another EMG where, uh, where which one here? You you put in the tibialis anterior on the yes. left side. This is this is tibialis. Tibialis, this is tibialis, tibialis right? Anterior from the uh, uh, no no sorry sorry this is this should, should be on, Gastro... this actually on the back. This oh, on the back. Sorry, gastronomius, right? Yeah, this yeah, that's gastronomius. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, gastronomius on the on the on the back. The gastronomius okay. lateralis on the uh, on the right. Yeah, because I. Or, and... you, did you put also in the fast uh, in the tibialis anterior? No, 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 no. Only on no, the, right? Only only gastronemius. Yeah. Okay, gastronemius, yeah. rectus femoris, and also fastus, fastus. Yeah, and and uh, some of the okay. on the mm -hmm. hamstring and also from the from the gluteus muscles. Okay, okay. So some is actually in the uh, hamstring. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, you yes. can continue. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, so here uh, we we use uh, we put reflective marker on the on the on the set of infrared camera. Then after experiment, we need to label the the each marker uh, according to each body landmark. Uh, yeah, we need to label. And then after you label, you can do the the calculate the kinematics and kinetics. 
So uh, I, I show some example here. So this is uh, when we do the. Uh, Wait, is this in NTU uh, School of Public Health? Is no, it no, it's in, 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 in the in the building. In, 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 yeah, it's in oh, oh, okay, that's new then. I, yeah. I never see that. Yeah, it's a new, yeah. new room, new, new room. Yeah, I think that's a new room because you yes, have, yes. hey, you have three four splits, right? Look at that one. I think three, yes, right? three, three. We still yeah, have three. three. Four okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So we can see here on the video. <coughs> this is the 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 RGB camera video. So you can see here the we ask the subject to walking to do the walking, uh, with their three four speed. Yeah, maybe it's broken. Yeah, then you can see that's the subject where uh, uh, have the marker here. Then this is uh, uh, the overlay of the of the body landmark that I create. Then after you got this uh, raw data, you need to label the data. Then after you label data, you get this kind of uh, uh, view. So you can see here. Yeah, you got the you got the all the 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 the, the skeleton the the, the segment. <coughs> then. Uh, this is the same subject doing the same thing. So you can see after here you got the you got the this uh, labeling process, and then after the labeling process you can you can uh, create your models. You can then you can calculate uh, the kinematics and kinetics variable according to your models. So here's the the final view before you calculate uh, your uh, kinematics and kinetics variables. So it's this is uh, using a Visual 3D software. Yeah. So you can see here this is the same subject. We can we can model the, the 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 segment and then after that you can calculate the kinematics and kinetics kinematics is like uh, the the angle the joint angle be, uh, be, with, between the segment and then the kinetics is uh, related to the dynamics of the of the of the subject like the joint moment and other things <coughs> okay oh, so then she's I, a healthy subject right no healthy uh, subject. she's uh, actually she's actually the injured athlete uh, she oh. has the is a professional uh uh i forgot what is the name of the sport is the the uh what? high jump high jump i guess yeah okay oh okay yeah. so this is a professional high jump athlete that have the injury on the knee okay and then you you kind of like check the gate the gate right uh, yeah, it's, it's actually not only get uh, uh, in this experiment. I also do another uh, 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 task like jumping or uh, wow, you <laughs> you, wet, force, wet you force her to jump. Like oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, so, okay. So walking, walking is just one of the small tasks that yeah. usually we ask the subject yes. to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I continue to the introduction. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so oh, wait up to here uh let let me ask is there any questions everyone okay i mean why why because because well um um uh i studied this one before with uh, the you know i took the class uh, with professor su and professor su is actually tommy's uh, advisor so that's why i'm quite uh, know what what uh, you know uh inside there any other i mean for my phd students okay uh yoshiki is it clear yoshiki Sir, as of now, it's clear, sir. It's very clear, right? I mean, uh, it's very clear, right? Okay. Because is, I have sir. to ask, yeah, I have to ask for students who mm. wants to, you know, specialize. Arvin Ong in ergonomic. Arvin Ong, <laughs> is it clear? Yeah. Yes, yes. So far, it's clear. Very clear, right? Yeah, of course. The, ex the explanation <clears throat> is much better than my class. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Tommy, con let's continue. Okay, so I'll continue. Okay, since uh, 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 I'll start to 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 go to the de more detail to my uh, my uh, publication, one of my publications. So uh, after we calculate the after we got the we ask the subject to do the the, the walking, then we we need to get this uh, this uh, each each of the even important event. So for example, like you need to find the hill strike from the force plate, then another two off, and then another hill strike. You need to find this. This uh, even you need to identify this even. Then you can after that you can calculate. That's called the spatial temporal parameters. The the spatial temporal mm -hmm. parameters is uh, 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 is uh, like uh, biomarkers. So and this 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 thing is, is tend to change in the most locomotor disabilities and serve as guideline for evaluating the, the working ability of the subject. So if oh, you can wait. calculate. Uh, this, sorry, Tommy. Okay, yeah. I have a question. Uh, if you you have three force plates, right? I forget. Yes. Uh, 
only two force plates that you use, right? For a one gate, because it will be one and half if you put it uh, uh, those three data. Uh, you mean for 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 define cycle? Yes. For define cycle, for define we cycle. use three actually. Uh, you you need you need uh, uh, at least two, three, right? Four. You you win, you need three. Uh, yeah. Uh, two 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 is enough if if only. Yeah, right. Two uh, is enough, two right? Is enough. Two is but enough. But I think you uh, use three. For... Can I yeah, can I use... ask why? Uh, actually, two is enough if you only need a One left game. heel strike and right heel strike. Yes, but yes, sometimes yes. Sometimes you need you need a full uh, uh gate cycle from the right heel strike to another to the right, right heel strike. Oh, I see. Yeah, from so, the right so heel strike to the right heel strike. Only right. for the yeah, yeah. For the, oh. for the even definition. But in this case, actually, if you can see here, the third force plate is off. Yeah, you can see there is no no force. Factor. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah so, so, that's why. So it's only so so in this case the the third force plate we we don't use the third force plate. We I we see. put there, but yeah. we don't use it. Yeah, yeah. that's why we, <laughs> I want to ask that because like if it's if I see that I'm like I, I couldn't see anything from the third one. Yeah. Okay, now I know. Okay. Yeah, okay. The, the third force plate is a is a is a is a turn off on this case. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh. So so back to here. Uh, special temporal is the important parameters, and. Uh, the current situation, like I uh, 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 explained before, most of the gate measurement they are bulky and expensive, uh, like a motion capture system that I I uh, uh, explained before. Uh, you cannot just put this camera to hospital because it's bulky and he and heavy. And then uh, the subject need to walk in the unusual manners because of the equipment and the condition. For example, like you uh, when we do experiment, we need to ask the subject to to step on the one step on one force plate. So, so for example, like you cannot, you cannot let the subject uh, when they step on this force plate, you cannot, uh, you cannot, uh, you cannot let the subject uh, walk one step on the two force plate. So you are, you need to ask them walk in the in the special manner that uh, can uh, can uh, make you uh, easier to analyze the data. So that's why I asked here. Uh, this is some, somehow make the subject. Walking is not really natural because you need to ask the subject walk in the unusual manner. So we have a proposed solution. Uh, there we we uh, we try to use the wearable device, for example, like accelerometer, gyroscope, eye view, to perform the gate analysis, including the including uh, what we call the spatial temporal parameters calculation. And uh, because of uh, this is a, a, a new thing, then uh, we need to validate what we what we calculate with wearables. Uh, 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 compared to the golden standard, because uh, motion capture is still uh, still uh, still become the golden standard. <clears throat> and the main purpose of this study, the first the first publication, is to classify the normal and stroke gate pattern based on the data from wearable device. So uh, 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 from this point, the validation study. Uh, this validation study I've done in another conference paper that uh, basically is uh, doing the validation, compare the result from the calculation of the uh, parameters calculate from the wearables device compared to parameters calculate from the motion capture system. So it's a valid validation study. Uh, and then how we do that? So you basically after you you ask the subject to do the gate, and then uh, in, uh, not you not only put the motion capture sensor, but you also put the IMU sensors. And then from the IMU sensor, you got the acceleration data. Uh, in this case, the we we only use the vertical acceleration. Then we do some uh, pre-processing, <clears throat> for example, like in here, we do the we, we filter the data using low pass uh, low pass filter with cutoff uh, frequency of uh, two hertz. Then the filter uh, acceleration we we integrate and then we differentiate with the CWT continuous wave transform. And then you got this kind of uh, uh, graph. You got this kind of waveform. Then uh, you uh, you need to find the local maxima and local minima of all, each of the each of the uh, 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 graph. Then we can see here this is the there is a red line and the blue line. The 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 back the dash the dash black line is the raw, raw data of the vertical acceleration. Then after you got the first processing and the second processing, uh, you got the peak. Then the the red one is the initial contact of the event time. You maybe remember initial contact is a uh, is this one? This is the initial contact, and this is the two off. The two off, two off. Uh, so, 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 so we clear that we we want to define this based on the acceleration data, and this is how we do that. 
So you you filter, you you do some pre-processing, then you got the 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 local maxi, maxima. And then after you get this uh, initial uh, contact of the uh, gate, he'll strike two off, he'll strike two off, he'll strike two off, he'll strike two off. Then you can calculate the the, the variable like the step step time, stride times, and any any uh, special temporal parameter, any uh, temporal parameters. And also we can calculate one one thing in here because this is we put the acceleration we put the accelerometer on the on the lower back. On the uh, on the L five. Uh, Sir Tommy, this is you. You put IMU, right? This is the data IMU data. Yes. This is yes. IMU data, right? Uh, can I? Astrometer data, yes. Okay, where did you put the IMU? Uh, L L five L five. L five. Okay, on the lower base. Yeah, yeah okay, L five. Okay, L5. okay. okay. Yeah. So you put. Okay, so actually, like you would like to create a certain, I would say that the gate cycle out of the with other, you know with other devices something like that right yeah I, yeah yeah, yeah because, i wanted to make it yes. simpler for everybody yeah okay okay yes yes we want to we want to we want to calculate what we want to uh, yeah. calculate previously from the motion capture okay. but now okay. we calculate with the wearables oh you now you calculate yeah. with wearable with the l yeah. okay hey, so can i ask why can i ask why l5 <laughs> why l5 uh, be because because in this case we want to we want to also uh, calculate the, the the step lines and the step lines model is based on the inverted pendulum. Then this is uh, the inverted pendulum model is based on the uh, COM. So L5 is the closer, like uh, like we can say this is your when you're working, then your COM okay, okay. is mostly, yeah. Well, uh, it's very obvious or, that that you are so biomedical. <laughs> On, on L5. I mean, I mean I'm, 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 right now I'm, I was like, okay, okay, I have to, you know, refresh all the thing that I uh, got during the, uh, you know, third class. Yeah. Anyway, okay, good. Okay, now I got yes. it. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so why L5? Because, because of that, because it's like uh, closer to your uh, center of uh, center of mass, your COM, and then we want to calculate the step lines based on the inverted pendulum models. Uh, and this is uh, the the inverted pendulum model. So 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 with this uh, processing, data processing, we can calculate uh, the 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 spatial temporal parameters. Then uh, we can validate uh, our uh, calculation, our result be, uh, compared to the golden standard. Uh, but pendulum model is is that your model? Wow, that's so amazing. No 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 no. It's a it's a it's a it's a established model so, for like uh, you. If you familiar with the some bipedal walking robots or, yeah, or any yeah, any yeah. walking any walking uh, uh, bipedal walking including uh, like uh, robots robotics okay. walking uh -huh, as uh -huh. of human walking is uh -huh. uh, follow the 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 independent models for for, oh, for okay, the human so, yeah okay yeah. so so you try to okay that's the pendulum model and then the, your gate model oh okay no yes beautiful of course this is uh, you know amazing okay work. okay next <laughs> yeah okay, okay. Okay, next. Uh, so, uh, continue to, to that. So then, then uh, uh, we we can continue more detail to the gate analysis. So the normal human gate is defined as a method of locomotion that involves the use of the two legs, alternately to provide both support and propulsion with at least one foot being contact with the ground all the all all the time. Why I uh, 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 mention this because the the gate is different than uh, uh, running. Run, in, in in running there is no 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 need to have a one foot uh, contact with the ground so this is the the the, the what we what we what we uh, calculate before we need to yeah uh, get the time of the initial contact <coughs> uh, and then the, the the two off initial contact two off and then you can you can do this uh, actually not only not only uh, uh, wearables on the l5 there is also some people that are also uh, for example put the sensors on the shank or on your foot then they can they can do the same thing but different 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 model or different calculation so it's just a matter of uh, uh, different models and different uh, calculation that you can you can you can perform. But but they, they, the purpose is the same. You you want to you want to know the what when when the heel strike happened and when the, the two off happened. Then if you know that, then you can calculate the, the parameters like the yeah. uh, special temporal parameters. Yeah. yeah. So it's for everybody, you know, when you want to do the uh, this kind of gate analysis, it's very, very important. I remember like Professor Su uh, mentioned to us, define what is the cycle. You know, if you don't define what is the cycle, then 
no matter what you do, it's nothing. Is that correct, Sir Tommy? You have to define the cycle correctly, right? Yeah, yeah. The first, the first step is define the, first the cycle. Step, because yeah. yeah, you have to define because the cycle. Because that's 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 how you you interpret the data. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you you need to cut. You need to specify your time. You cannot just you have the whole cycle. Then uh, you cannot compare with the other trial yeah. or other people because. Because you have a uh, different, yeah, too, different. Wide, yeah, too yeah. wide, too wide data. Yeah, yeah. yeah you need to specify uh, your 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 cycle, and then uh, most of the most of the important, most of the interesting things is happen on the on the specified time. So you have to. So this is the 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 cycle definition. The cycle, the cycling, cycling cutting is very important in, in our field. <clears throat> okay, so I'll continue. Then uh, in this uh, study. Uh, we uh, we, call, we we recruit the several subject. Uh, we have uh, eleven subject from uh, two groups, two healthy groups: the uh, healthy young adults and uh, healthy older adults. And then also we have a uh, ten subject with stroke. Uh, <coughs> and the uh, GLAD classification, we have a uh, twelve subject with the stroke. Uh, with the we also with, with also with stroke. And uh, uh, as I said before, I use one one IMU sensor is from a uh, Delsys. This is the IMU sensor. This wireless IMU sensor. So we put here on the L5 on the back of the the the, the subject. Uh, actually, this uh, sensor have the uh, gyroscope and also accelerometer and magnetometer. But uh, on this case, I only use the accelerometer data and uh, to define the gate cycle. And we have uh, seven cameras here. Seven cameras. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven cameras okay. uh, Sir, around you. Okay. Yes. Sir Tommy, uh, you have so many. Is that uh, I? Is that Professor Sus IMU? She has a lot. That one, the IMU. Yeah. Is that uh, IMU? Uh, the, we have sixteen weeks. We have sixteen, 16? sensors. And, yeah. And each of them is uh, wireless EMG and I. Have so wireless. Many, so, wow. I don't know how expensive yeah, so, that is. So. So we can. Uh, so so because it's also EMG sensor. So. Yeah, I know. So each yeah. of the EMG sensor have the IMU sensor. I have the accelerometer or IMU. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, so that's okay. and uh, and also uh, three force plate. Uh, we uh, we we see and then uh, all of this uh, all of this equipment they need to synchronize. They need to they need to start together and stop together. So otherwise you you will miss some data because your data is not synchronized. You cannot you cannot uh, like uh, use it together. Yeah, so so this is also important. You uh, to make sure that your all of your equipment is uh, synchronized. Then they start together and they stop together when you collect the data. Okay. So this is the protocol. Uh, so we place the sensors on the subject lower back, and then we put the markers on the subject from the upper and lower extremity, uh, and then we do the level working at the self 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 uh, surface speed. And uh, the, the, the route is the go and back for 12 meters. And then the, each of subject, they need to, to uh, uh, finish the six successful trial. And the data processing, uh, that's not include the, 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 the cycle definition. So uh, here, uh, if we define the cycle from the motion capture data, then uh, this is how we do. So we after we label the data, then we define the models, uh, we build the models, and then we we can also def, uh, we can also define the cycle based on the the motion capture data. In this case, we define from the uh, hill strike from the force platform, uh, and then uh, we calculate the step lengths, the the other parameters, uh, including uh, 19 gate parameters, including uh, pace, rhythm, variability, asymmetry, and postural control. They all derive from the initial contact and the final contact time. So you only the, the only things you need to find the calculate is the the first is the initial contact and the final contact. And then from that two, you can calculate many things. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, and then in this uh, this one, uh, can I ask how many, it's yes, like yes. Uh, how many days uh, it took for one subject? Can I ask for you to expect many, the data? How many days? How, <laughs> how many, many days for you? I, I don't know. How many? Because I know this is going to be thousands of data. I mean, I mean, how many days uh, for you to actually? Actually, uh, usually one subject we need like uh, one week, three hour, two to three hours, two to three hours from the from the start, from the start from experiment to the finish. One subject, one subject we need no, no. like. A, I mean, like after hours. that you have to you have to uh, how is it that uh, uh, label label the data. the data? Yeah, leveling the data yeah, and then yeah, like uh, yeah. how many days? That's, that's can I ask for for. Uh, actually, uh, 
for the people like who first time doing the label, that will be like a very boring and difficult, uh, difficult uh, uh, okay. task. Okay, I think everybody, I think everybody, uh, quite confused. What is labeling? Actually, labeling it's uh, connecting that one, right? The dot on the how is it that? Yeah, um, yeah. If be before to before, make it like a human, yeah. Get the data. Mm -hmm. All all of this uh, uh, dot is uh, red. That they, yes. they they don't know which which dot is belong to which. Marker yeah. which, which so, uh, then you have, you have to, have to it one by one. assign it. Yeah, yeah. You need to, you have to connect it one by one. Yeah, you you connect by one. But uh, uh, like Professor Gisa, maybe because because at that time you only do this on the class. Like, like yeah, uh, I, think, I think that's why. Yeah. Right. So you think it's it took a, me, you think it took me days. Yeah, you think it's a, it's, a, it's a very boring and difficult uh, task. Yeah, but but for like like us on the lab that already like spent a uh, uh, years in the lab then. Like you can finish one subject in like thirty minutes. Really? Yeah, because you you already remember wow. that the name of each each uh, label that you can like even if you close my eyes I can label it. Really? <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. For, for the first time, it's very difficult. For the first time, <laughs> yeah. I mean, for 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 my first day in the lab, it's very difficult that you need to you need to remember uh, each of the the name of of uh, of uh, I can show. Yeah, the name of the dot and then like uh, the the you know everything. Yeah. Yeah, the name of each. Name of each. Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Yeah. Is, uh, uh, ASIS, ASIS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, something like that. Yeah. C7, uh, SNC7, LSAP, LSAP. That you need to remember of this yes. before you 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 can label it. Uh, but but yeah. because of you uh, you you gain the experience uh, between within the years that uh, you 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 can remember it uh, easily. I think. Yeah. That's that's. That's actually like a, 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 a repetitive task that, uh, yeah. Yeah, so so, so then uh, you, you got this data, then you can calculate the parameters. So, so the key here is you define the cycle and then you can calculate the parameters. And then uh, you, you the next step, because in here, I the purpose of the study is to differentiate between the normal gate pattern and the stroke patient gate pattern. So you, you need to have uh, some kind of feature extraction. And uh, this the feature extraction uh, I calculate is the feature from the from the wearables data. So so you got the you got the heel strike and two of even from the from the from the motion capture. Then that you you use this even to cut your to segment your acceleration data, a uh, wearables data. Then you got you got the you got the segmented uh, acceleration data. Then you you extract the feature from that data. The the feature is uh, from the it's just the time domain features the basic time domain features like uh, standard deviation, skewness, or kurtosis. Uh, what's the, the frequency? I forget. What's the frequency? Two hertz. Two. Uh, two the the low, low the low pass is two hertz, but but uh, that's two but, hertz right. But, but oh, okay. that's low pass is uh, mm -hmm. for define the cycle, and this is the feature extraction is a is a different data. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you after you cut the cycle. Mm -hmm. Then you cut the cycle. Then you can extract the features like a uh, standard deviation, skewness, kurtosis, and uh, the root mean square of the data or peak to peak value. There is a lot of features uh, that you can you can extract uh, from from the data. Then uh, your models and uh, later your models will will uh, will use these features to differentiate between normal and stroke patient. And uh, uh, in this case, I not only using I am not only using the the time domain features but also the frequency domain features. Uh, uh, the fre frequency domain features that I extract from this study is the peak frequency, uh, bandwidth, lower bone frequency, upper bone frequency, and the power at the 99% occupied bandwidth. And all the accelerometer and gyroscope data is uh, extract, uh, extracted by uh, these uh, features. So, so total here I have uh, 42 features. From wow, 42! <laughs> wow! Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh... yeah. Okay, that's uh, yeah, you have a 42. Okay, wow, that's uh, very crazy. Okay, yeah, it's, I think it's not it's really not because, 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 the, because in this case, you have you don't have uh, so much data that you can you can use to train your, uh, for example, like your deep learning models. In deep learning models, you can use your raw data. You don't uh -huh, have to uh -huh, uh -huh, extract uh -huh. the features, but the problem is, I, I, in this case, I don't have enough enough, enough, 
Yeah. The data, yeah. Yes, the, I know, the, the, I know. The, the data set is not really big, so you have to extract the features. And then, okay. uh, actually, from 42, I didn't use all. I, I, I don't know which one is, I, I don't know, which, at, at, the, at that time, I don't know which what, which feature is actually uh, useful. So, so in this stage, the first stage, you can extract as many as feature you can. Then the second stage, the third stage, you can you can filter these features, which one is, uh, you rank the feature, which one is mm -hmm. useful, which one is not that. At the end, I think I only get like four or five features from this 42. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, so I think that's that's the basic of like uh, data mining and uh, the the yeah something like that. So oh, you, yeah, that's you, uh... you got the raw you got the yeah. raw data. You do pre processing. You got the yes, feature yes, extraction. Yes. Then yes. you got the feature selection. Then the last part is your model that that do the classification of the okay. or, or the regression. Okay, yeah. so I would like to tell all the PhD students here, hey, study deep learning, you know, okay, everybody, okay, <laughs> study, uh, oh, sorry, I would say uh, study data mining, okay, because it will be very useful uh, for you. Yes, to really, that's very uh, useful. Yeah, very, very useful, you know, I, 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 think really, data yeah, mining. I, I really regret very I didn't good. push too hard when I was in the ASP for the data mining. Okay, I think it's never, never too late to, 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 to learn yeah. that thing. Okay, we can continue. <laughs> yeah. So, so this uh, the features, 42 features that, then this this uh, 42 features, they need to go to the first first stage of the feature selection. Then in this first stage feature selection, I just use a one-way ANOVA to, to, to do the statistic and determine between the, the difference between the, 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 the all the groups, uh, the, the three groups. And then uh, the, the second stage after that, after then after that, after the first stage, I got the one man offer and then I get the, which features is actually difference between the, 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 the uh, young uh, adults and the, the stroke patients. And then uh, I got the second, after that, I got the second stage of the feature selection. They're using the, the uh, SNR, the signal to noise ratio. So basically is the rank the features and define how well the feature can discriminate between the two class. And uh, then on the last stage, after the second feature extraction, I, I, use, I use this input to be the input for the SPA models. And this SPA models is just doing the binary classification. Uh, of the 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 stroke or uh, normal gait pattern using the 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 subject data, and uh, in this case, uh, in, to avoid the overfitting, I do the five-fold cross validation uh, to validate the models, and then the calculate some metrics like accuracy, sensitivity, and specificity. So here's the from the 42, 42 uh, features, uh, only 15 features. They saw the significant difference between. Young, elderly, and stroke patient. So uh, wait, that one the you one use on... that one from ANOVA, right? That one from ANOVA yes, from, from yeah from, from okay. ANOVA. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Only fifty features that show a significant difference between the young, elderly, and the stroke patient. But uh, from from this forty-two, actually only one that have a significant difference between all the groups between young, elderly, and stroke. But this fifteen, they only different between uh, young stroke or elderly stroke but there is no difference between young and elderly and these 15 features uh go to the second stage of the feature selection snr then get the rank then uh, i got the, like one two three four five the the five uh, sorry four or five four, four four sorry four 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 final features that, that actually i use to train my models uh, is the RMS of the ACC on the vertical, standard deviation of the ACC on the vertical, and the power of the all uh, axis uh, acceleration on the anterior posterior, and the power on the uh, vertical uh, uh, acceleration. So uh, this is the classification result. So uh, we got the, 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 the result that the models show that the SVM that with the quadratic kernel that have the highest accuracy, with the 93.46% that they can differentiate the 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 stroke and the uh, stroke and the normal gait pattern, and uh, the testing show that the the testing on the train model they show that the 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 quadratic and the kernel and the uh, cubic uh, kernel they have the highest accuracy uh, and the specificity specificity is all the 100%. So this is just like a you compare which models has the best performance. And uh, and then uh, <clears throat> so this is the the, the discussion. Uh, oh, let me tell we... everyone. Uh, 
expert. Yes. Don't worry about the, all the the students. You know, you really need to understand uh, data mining first. You know, to understand uh, what he, what Sir Tommy is actually talking about. But anyway, uh, Sir Tommy, I can distribute this one to all the PhD students, right? The the PPD, right? Uh, the, the, the PDF. Yeah, right? uh, I think yeah, I think it's okay. Because you already published it, right? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah, already published it. Published yeah. It. yeah, you already published it. So okay, okay. Because yeah. they, you know, they will take the. Uh, sorry, they are actually taking the data mining class this term. So I think they will be able to understand that one even more after this term, actually. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so so this the, the first paper is talk about uh, classify the two different groups. Uh, you have the healthy groups and they have the. The groups have a pathology uh, that uh, classify by the gates. And this, I, I, I go to the second paper that uh, discuss about the, the multiple wearable sensors, uh, gate classification and uh, analysis with the patient with neurological, neurological disorder. And this, the second paper is uh, talk about uh, if the first paper, they only use one sensor placed on the back and then you, 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 you just use one this one sensor and there is maybe there is question why why you put on the l5 why not on the shank why not on the thigh or why on the, not on the foot then this paper is to answer this question so basically this paper is a uh, is a compare different placement so if the first paper only compare the uh, sorry only use one one uh, sensor placed on the one uh, location then this uh, paper i remember is uh, placed on the seven location so we compare we compare uh, different placement sensors uh, performance. And it's published in 2018. Uh, it's part of my uh, master thesis. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, master thesis. I thought that already of, PhD, you know, the, of, the citation of, is so uh, high. <laughs> all, of, all of my presentation today is uh, from my master thesis project. So because the, the, wow. the PhD thesis, I think is still, uh, classify so i cannot think then, i cannot then, talk then the professor language. professor su trained you so well <laughs> <laughs> okay so so yeah so like i said before the introduction uh, so this study is aimed to conduct a comprehensive analysis of the placement of the multiple wearable device that include the seven different sensor placement and the five different algorithm for uh, gate analysis and classification and uh, the features is come from the time domain and gate temporal parameters and the combination of uh, both of them. And we compare, not only compare the, the multiple placement, but also uh, compare which model which uh, is, is better. Because uh, why we think it's crucial? Because, because uh, if you have, uh, if you can place only, uh, only, only one sensor or maybe on two sensors, then you need to choose which placement is the best uh, for the subject. So in this, uh, in this, uh, in this study, we, we collect 20 subjects. And it's participated into two groups: is uh, stroke and others uh, neurological disorders. So all of this, all of the subject is uh, not a normal subject. All is the subject with the disorders. The first group is only the, the first group is on, only stroke, and the second group is the 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 others neurological disorder like a spinal injury or a, a brain concussion or a surgery of a brain tumors. And uh, the stroke patient is come uh, is a comprise of eleven subject, while the others uh, subject is uh, only nine subject. And on this uh, study, uh, as you can see here, we put the seven sensors on the on the subject, uh, two on the side, two on the shank, and the others two uh, on the foot, and also one on the on the L five. Oh, wait, uh, so this is the you you did not turn on the EMG, right? This one. No, 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 no. This is just the. Okay. The IMU, the IMU sensor. IMU, right, yeah. The ACC and the gyroscope. And to train the models, I use the Python with the Anaconda to just as the tools uh, the, to, 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 to do the data analysis. And uh, subject, they also need to perform the level walking at the self self uh, slide speed of uh, 12 meters, uh, around six trials. Then, uh, this is the, the data processing because in this case we don't use the mocap. We already we already we already do this on the hospital. So we go to hospital. We only bring we only bring these sensors. Then we go to the to the, to the uh, patient room. Then we put the we put the sensor on the patient room uh, and a patient. And then we ask the patient to do experiment like uh, for ten minutes. And then we replace it. So compared to the previous experiment that we need to spend like uh, two to three hours. For each subject, and then each subject need to come to our school 
to our lab and do the experiment. In, in this paper, in this study, we, we come to the hospital and uh, put the, the sensor on the, on the subject. Uh, wait, is that is there a deep? Uh, I I don't know because one is actually in the hospital, one in the next to the swimming pool, right? No, Your no, laboratory. No, 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 hospital, laboratory. The, the real hospital in the uh, uh, San San Sanchong Yen. San no, I mean the the one that you use for the healthy subject. Oh, oh no, you put effort. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this this you one, this one the, they used to help don't help don't, don't use healthy subject. Uh, the healthy subject is in the school, right? Yeah, the, the healthy subject. But uh, previously, the the stroke subject they also come to school. But this, but uh, oh really? Yeah. Uh, okay. On the, on the, on the previous Which paper, thing? on the the I explained before the 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 the, the on that study there. Uh, at that time, the the subject they need to come to the lab because the motion capture all in the lab. But this case because. We only use the uh, wearables data, wearable sensor. So we, we we go to the hospital. We only bring the wearables device. Then we 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 put the the sensor to the subject. Okay. So I can continue. So because uh, in this uh, in this case there is no no motion capture or force plate, So we only use the wearables to define the cycle. And uh, we in this uh, case. We use the three uh, the accelerometer. Uh, we we uh, we do the same thing. We we uh, filter with the main pass filter of the one to twenty hertz. Then uh, the gyroscope we also filter with the with this bandwidth. And then uh, we use the data from the shank, the digital tibia, to define the cycle left and right gyroscope cycle from each side. So so this is the 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 filter data filter uh, data of the right shank. Then we got the data here. We got the uh, event definition, uh, the, the the initial contact, final contact, and also the, the two off, the, the mid-swing event. Then you got the, you got the, you got the, you got the uh, gate cycle here. Then you can cut the data. You can cut the data based on this. So, so this is always the first step is always to define the cycle. Then, this is the basically the same thing. Then after you define the cycle, then you can you can cut your accelerometer data or the angular velocity data like this. Then this is the example from the normalized cycle of the the, the acceleration from the subject data. So after you cut, then you get the this a lot of this kind of data. Then you extract the feature from this uh, data. The same thing. You can calculate the the stance time, the swing time, the the first uh, double lip support, the second double lip support, and other things. And then uh, this more 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 complex models because uh, we need to compare uh, performance of a different placement. For example, like L5 only L5 or only side only shank only foot, and the combination of all and also uh, different features. Uh, time only time domain features, only get temporal features, or on a combination of this. So uh, we have a total seven classification method that we use on this study that use different combination, different configuration of the sensors, and uh, we just use some uh, simple machine learning model like uh, random forest or uh, decision tree or some uh, neural network. And this is the the results. So uh, the result, the classification models that use the features from a combination of uh, time domain and gate temporal parameters, they outperform the classification which only use the features from the gate temporal parameters. And the classification result from the different sensor placement reveal that the shank, the shank base is actually the best result among the others. So so if you if you only can choose one sensor, then you have to put on the shank because because uh, the results show that the shank. Uh, placement has the the highest uh, accuracy uh, for the for for this kind of task. So the summary, uh, uh, the best classification models, uh, they use a result among the features is the the using all the placement is still the best if you if you can if you have a, if you have a opportunity to use that. But if you only have a opportunity to use one, then you better to put your sensor on the shank and using the decision tree uh, algorithm. So this is the, the purpose of this uh, study. So I already talked about the, so we, we almost uh, going to the end of the presentation. So I already uh, explained that uh, what is the, 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 the situation of the current and the past. So in the past, I can say in the past, maybe in the, in the, in the still in the, in the near, 
in the near uh, the present in the present day we still use the uh, motion capture system as the as the as the uh, golden standard and i think we 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 will always use this kind of uh, uh, equipment as a golden standard but in the future uh because the air, the, the development, the rapid development of the deep learning and AI method, then uh, the the device, the algorithm, they getting advanced, uh, getting advanced every day. Then even uh, now, uh, we start to develop the 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 post estimation only using the the smartphone camera, for example, like this. So before, if we need to, to if you need uh, before, you need to have the the three D motion capture and also some kind of uh, uh, markers you put the marker he marker here and also use the expensive camera and now uh, you can estimate the post of the subject just using the smartphone camera for example that like this so this is the, the left is the 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 input from the smartphone camera then you can uh, get the post uh, with with just the uh, AI or deep learning method Wow, this is so wow, you know, like <laughs> the, the, the yeah, oh, okay. this is just uh, use. So, in this, in, in this experiment, we, we not only use the, the camera, so we also test, we also take the subject they doing the motion with the smartphone camera. In this case, is this uh, this is the video from the smartphone camera, and then this is the result of the reconstruction of the of uh, of this subject, the 3D pose. So, this is 3D, 3D, uh, 3D position of the of the subject. So we can see it. This is the this is the future of the 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 the, the movement analysis. Maybe the the accuracy or the 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 yeah the accuracy or the calculate the calculation is not uh, for the clinical things. It's not really accurate compared to the golden standard because the golden standard is still the golden standard. But this is open op, open the opportunity to like if you have the if you, if you, yes. Is there uh, no, no, no. It's okay. You can okay. continue. Yeah. So I can. I can. I, so this open open the opportunity to like if you have a like a portable device in home, then you can you can you can have a like for example like in home personal trainer. Then you you just have like a camera or I think there's already like commercial device like you have a mirror on your home. Then this mirror have a camera. Then you do exercise in front of the mirror and then the mirror can can uh, like uh, uh, calculate your pose and then. They can uh, do. They can act like your personal trainer. That can re uh, uh, correct your pose if this is wrong, something like that. But uh, like I said before, this kind of uh, advanced uh, device is the purpose is not to replace the original device, but to help the clinician is to 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 make the clinician works easier and uh, faster. So, so it's not to replace the original. So if you want to have the really accurate uh, result then uh, the motion capture is still a must. So that's, that's my, my like, uh, like, so, so that's the, we, we, we're not doing this to replace all the complex equipment. We, we are doing this to make the, the job easier and faster, but you still need the motion capture. That's my final word. Yeah. So I think, uh, so for example, like this is we can also calculate the, the we can also calculate what's the motion capture can do. Like for example, this is calculate the d d angle, then compare to the <coughs> compare to the to the ground truth. It's quite similar actually. So it's but it's not as accurate as if we're using the motion capture. Yeah. So yeah, that's the, the the purpose. So so I think that's all from me. So there is any question. Wow, Sir Gomi, it's a uh, very interesting and very excellent. And it, you know, uh, so my PhD students, uh, now you know what is the advance or like the international level of the physical editor. If you would like to do a very like a uh, very physical uh, biomechanics uh, kind of study. Okay, so now uh, let's go to Q&A. Actually, there is one question uh, direct to me, but a uh, simple question for my students. Um, is it possible if we do the labeling with the, you know, automatically, you know, do the labeling? How is that, Sir Tommy? The answer? Yes. The marker? Uh, uh, the, the, is that automatic? Define on how Something to, like that. Uh, the, define on how, how, what's automatic terms in you? Because uh, actually the software from the, 
the the software that provided by the by the provider by the by the by the motion capture company they can they can do the automatic but you still need to like the first like you need to like uh, create yeah. a template like yeah, a the template. yeah the first one right yeah the first one the very the very yeah, first one the very first yeah you the very to, first yeah. you need to like uh, manually do one and then yes if your if your calibration when you do experiment if your calibration is very good and there is no there is not too much noise then you can use this template to label the rest of the trial so like i said before if you already if you already uh, spend gain experience in this labeling thing then you can do you can finish like in only 30 minutes for one subject uh, and like for example like the the beginner maybe need to like uh, one day or maybe several hours to finish this but if you gain experience then you can do it some automatic automatic things and you can finish in like 30 minutes or even yeah even less as okay. as possible okay uh, i think that's already answered uh, the question let me go to the uh, my phd student arvin ong you have questions right you can ask. Uh, yes. Uh, hi, Tommy, sir. Yeah. Good evening. Mm -hmm. um, yes, good evening. I, I, uh, I want, I'm curious with the anterior cruciate ligament tear. Uh, sorry, which one? An anterior cruciate ligament tear. Oh, yes. The ACL, ACL yes. tear. Yeah. Um, if, if it will, uh, it will tear, the, the result for the gait analysis will be very low, right? Uh, sorry, which, which, which one will be very low? The, the value for the step would be very low? Uh, I think it's uh, very different. This is depend on uh, low. Uh, like for example, you, you have the, so, so knee SEL, right? The... Yes, yes. Is, is, uh, so is it you or, or you ask something? I mean, you, you have this problem? Uh, <laughs> no, not anymore. Oh, I thought you saw, uh, I thought you, saw like, uh, you have the SEL. Yes, yes, and then and you can continue. What, what's the question? <clears throat> the w which value would be low? Is it the heel or the the think, the force? I think it's a it's a it's a complex it's a complex uh, mechanism. It's not like you can say like one injury they only uh, affect uh, the 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 one like you say the heel or so for example like ACL ACL or others knee injury. Like uh, maybe yeah. So, so actually, uh, I forget this subject. The the subject I correct. Uh, I I I I collect this one. The the woman uh, where I can show you. Yeah, this one. This girl. Uh, she she has the ACL on her right T. And oh really? Is, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She has ACL. So she 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 is. She, she is actually a, uh, the, the, the professional athlete of uh, Taiwan. This is the, the, the highest woman, the highest jumping, the, 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 holder, the holder record of the highest woman jumping, highest jumping in Taiwan. So she has the ACL, ACL at the time, at that time, she has the ACL on the right, on the right knee. And then uh, she will have an injury, she will have surgery, surgery uh, like uh, two weeks before we do this experiment. So this experiment is to monitor to to get the baseline, the condition before before she has injury, and then later when she has uh, finished recover from the injury from the surgery, we will also collect the data like maybe like one year, six months or or, or one year from now after she uh, after she recover from the injury. So so if you if you ask what is the gate, what is the what is the the, the problem in CL? And uh, one 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 of the most uh, one of the most uh, well known uh, parameters from uh, like uh, have a problem a subject that have problem with knee is the joint moment. They have the like more more knee adduction moment. So I think it's it's too clinical. So so it's uh, okay. it's. Been, uh, knee up, abduction or knee, adduction? Uh, adduction. Knee, knee adduction. Adduction. ADD. Okay. Adduction. Yes. Okay. Adduction moment. Okay. Because because when you have when you have a knee when you have a uh, I I I don't have another slide when you have when you have knee injury then you tend to like have a, a different alignment like maybe X or X or X or O alignment that that's kind of lot of alignment is uh, is is. Uh, is make your yeah, it's make your get different, but that's not 
that simple because your gait is actually uh, linked from the hip, knee, and ankle. So that's not 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 as simple as we can say that the the lowest is the ankle or or heel or something like that. So, but but it's more more like the kinetics uh, parameters. Okay, oh, I, 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 I'm not sure is answering your question or not. Yeah, yeah, you did. I actually had a, a second question, but you answered it already also. Oh, what was your second question? What? It's about the the uh, like the measurement after the recovery, like how how far is the value oh. and compared to the normal uh, without the ACL tear. Yeah, without 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 the ACL, okay. like normal, they should be have a normal knee induction moment, and then if you have injury, then you like mostly have the more 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 knee induction moment on the on the affected side on the side that have injury okay yeah oh that's it really so okay more adduction more like knee. more in yeah, okay knee. so knee oh knee yeah. okay so oh okay. that's what, that's the that's, that's very the, interesting that's the okay. purpose yeah uh, uh, one of the one of the treatment that if you have a, a sel or have the the oa poa is using the brace you know the knee brace. Okay. Yeah, that that's brace is one of the purposes so you, to, yeah. to reduce that Manip that yeah. the y yeah. y axis right the y axis right the front the the frontal plan. Y. Yes. The yes. <clears throat> okay. So. Okay, Arfing Abela, you have very good question. Can you, Arfing Abela? Ah uh, yes, no. Another uh, PhD student. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, sir Tommy. Uh, yes. The question is. I noticed that you did not consider the weight of your subjects on your first topic compared oh, to your second reference. Uh, I noticed sorry. that you did not consider the weight of your subjects on your the first weight? topic. The weight. Uh -huh. yeah. The weight. Mm -hmm. Compared to your second presentation, having the stroke patient as the subject. What is the reason behind? Uh, actually, mm -hmm. we we consider the weight. We maybe I just didn't. Put it on the on the description because the weight is to normalize your force. Usually, when you report the force, the force data from the force platform, you normalize with the body weight of the of the subject. So, so for example, the 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 heel strike or other thing is uh, like something percentage of the body weight. So, so body weight is the factor. So we 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 always consider that. Maybe I just didn't write it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. sweet Tommy. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Like when you put the formula, I remember. Like uh, you have to put the weight of the subject. Something. Yeah, like you that. need to consider the weight <laughs> yeah. of the subject. Yeah, you have to consider the weight of the subject. I remember that one. Okay, my PhD students. Uh, Yoshiki Kurata is he here? Oh, he's not here anymore. Okay. Uh, any other questions from my PhD student? No, my sir. PhD no. Student? Really. Okay, Arfin, Arfin Ong, is it very clear? This is very interesting, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, any other questions? If Dr. Yang, Dean Yang, you want to ask any questions, Dean? Although, like, uh, this is very advanced ergo with the data mining. <laughs> so, advanced, like, biomechanics with data mining. Or Maelia, Maelia, are you there? Maelia, you want to ask Hello, questions? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Hi, okay. You want to ask? Okay. Oh, you yeah, want to sure. ask questions um, to Sir Tommy? Hello. Okay. Yeah. yeah hello, hello to Sir Tommy. Um, I'm mm -hmm. just curious because most of the participants are actually tagged under the healthy groups. Well, I'm just curious how do we identify if the participant is actually suitable for the study? Oh yeah. Uh, That's sorry. A good issue. So so so. Uh, you 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 want to ask uh, how we how we recruit the subject? Or, yes. Yeah. So so it depends on your purpose. For example, like the this study is uh want to collect the stroke and the, and the normal and the normal is mostly is the you don't have the you don't have the musculoskeletal problems. You don't have injury. You don't have the you don't have uh, you basically healthy just healthy people that don't have any problems with the with the working or the stroke in, in this case of a stroke but if in other study that uh, the 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 not and the not normal people is the injury people then we 
we go to the like uh, I think most most of them is athletes so we can like go to the hospital that have the the doctors the the orthopedic surgery doctors that most of the patient of that doctors is the like the athlete that have the the problem like the I think ACL uh, OA there is a lot of people uh, have the problem especially OA because because Taiwan is the is the uh, older population have the, a lot of older population and then OA 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 injury also the OA is the is mostly happen on the elder people so it's not difficult to find the OA people but uh, yeah is is actually is actually the most uh, I can say that is is from all the step of uh, this kind of experiment the most difficult one is to find the subject because mm -hmm. because you need to yeah that, that's why the subject the the number of subject i collect is maybe is always less than like 20 to like uh, around 20 to mm -hmm. uh, right now like maybe the, the the most the most number of subject i collect is like 40 so never less than it's less than 50 and then yeah. that's 40 is i collect <laughs> from like 3 years so during three years, I get like forty subjects. So it's it's a uh, it's, it's really hard to yes, it's really find hard. It's really hard. Those it's types really hard. of subjects. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's really hard. Wow, really? Oh, yes. That's that's three. Really, wow, yeah. I'm like. Yes, and okay. then the most like uh, yeah. So most of the student that uh, like graduate from master uh, in our lab, they have like uh, at least like uh, twelve subjects, I guess. Okay, so for as long as they have no serious diseases and that weight, um, I mean, factors like weight, height, and blood pressure, um, similar factors like that are not um, considered at all? Yeah, that, that's, uh, we consider that uh, as a normal people. And okay. uh, if, if they report that they have injury, then we need to, we need to, uh, uh, we need to take them to the 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 x-ray uh, the the x-ray or mri examination to 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 make it like uh, clear that they, they actually have injury otherwise we yeah if normal people then we uh, we let them as a normal people okay and yeah um speaking of the 20 subjects because a while ago i think um you have disclosed 11 subjects. I think it was 11 healthy subjects. We have seven for young participants and then four for old um, participants. Um, would the result vary if there is, um, if the participants are not equal to one another? Let's see, um, the healthy young adults are, yeah, yeah, are greater than the participants from the older ones. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Can you? Uh, I I cannot catch the the question. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I'm just curious since we have different number of samples for healthy young adults and healthy older adults. Will oh, yeah. it actually affect the result? If uh, you uh, mean an equal, an equal, equal yeah number yeah, of it's samples? Imbalance, right? Yeah, it's imbalanced. It's imbalanced. Uh, yeah, imbalanced. Yeah, imbalanced yeah. design. Uh, that, yeah. That's why here uh, we have uh, eleven subject from the healthy and ten on the stroke. So it's uh, yeah from but but that's from eleven is uh, two. So we can we can we can uh, we can say that it's uh, enough or not is uh, from the, the 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 calculate the power analysis I guess. Yeah, so you got the so it's based on the based on the data you got you got the you after you collect the data then you got the parameters you want to calculate then you know like the standard deviation on or the mean of the of the subject so if if this uh, for only four subject but um, all of them they have like a, like a similar pattern the standard deviation is very small then uh, the inter inter like uh, the 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 power is the statistical power will be will be higher than 0 0.8 then you can you can consider it as a as a enough so so it's all depend on the on the data so in this case is we can we can say that this uh, two kind of the uh, sub group is like have a very similar type of uh, data characteristic so mm -hmm. so we can say that it's you know yeah. okay all right yeah it will actually really depend upon the parameters set within yes, this study. yes yes Oh yeah, yeah, I get it. Thank you so case, much. Case by case, yeah. Okay, thank you. Wow, very very nice question, uh, Sir Tommy, right? 
<laughs> very yeah. very nice issue. One more questions. Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, did you do the MRI for the participant who has the neurological disorder before uh, the exp- MRI? Uh, uh, in this in this study, uh, no, because because we got the subject from the hospital from the doctors. So the doctors oh, already already, already have, a, have yeah, a okay, diagnosis, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But in other in other that. study that that have the the injured athlete, we that that that's injured athletes come from the school. For example, like, like they they are the basketball team school that yeah. they have injured. Then we we need to we need to uh, take them to the hospital to get the MRI first to know their condition because we don't we don't get them from the doctors. But the one that we got from the doctors, then we just use the diagnosis from the doctor. Yeah. Okay. Wow, what a very fruitful uh, one and a half hour, you know, one and a half hours of uh, discussion. Okay, uh, students, last questions. Are you sure for one last questions because uh, the time is up? The students, is it clear? Arvin Ong, is it very clear now? Gate analysis in this level. Yeah, it's 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 very it's, uh, clear. Yeah, it's very clear, right? Uh, Well, so Maelia, that's very. Oh, you you haven't you haven't in the PhD program, right? Because in PhD program, I explain yes. about gate analysis. <laughs> but, uh, but this is a very advanced of uh, uh, you know uh, physical ergonomics uh, or like mm-hmm. biomechanics. Okay, but it, it's actually another uh, how is it world biomedical engineering actually. <laughs> yeah, this okay, it's quite interesting actually. Yeah, it's, it's it's beyond uh, you know expect you know our expectation. Sir Tommy, thank you so much. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for yeah, me. thank you. I hope I hope it will be useful for for everyone. Yeah, actually, I think we are so happy to to have you here. Okay, so everyone, yeah, since the the time is up, okay, so uh, let's end this uh, seminar for the for tonight, and then next week, you know, we will have uh, advanced supply chain by the Dr. Wira. Okay, next week. Uh, It's actually for the supply chain world, so I cannot be, uh, you know, too focused on ergo because I'm so ergo. I don't like, but I have to also cover with uh, another world of the industrial engineering, and we go to the OR for uh, next week. Okay, so thank you everyone for uh, tonight. Okay, uh, so good night everyone. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Yeah, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you.